everyone, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and please consider subscribing. For today's video, I'm going to be chatting about my protective gear. Um, so pretty much my elbow pads, my knee pads, and some like butt pads. So if you are interested in this video, please continue watching. To start off, um, the brand of elbow pads and knee pads that I use is McDavid. Um, I don't know if McDavid makes any other elbow pads or knee pads, um, but what I got are these, these elbow pads. So these are the Hex elbow pads and these are the McDavid Hex knee pads. So these elbow and knee pads are actually for basketball players, for body to body contact, basketball rated. So this one is for basketball and for football. So the reason why I got these, and hold on, let me just make this clear. Um, the elbow pads come in packs of one, unfortunately, so you have to get two, and the knee pads come in two, which is great. Um, so the reason why I bought these, uh, paddings is because every other knee pad and elbow pad that I have found has been super bulky and it just sticks out and it's kind of restrictive as well. The elbow pads and the knee pads that I first bought are these Lenovo, um, elbow pads and knee pads, and it also came with wrist guards as well. I got these off of Amazon for about 20 bucks. Uh, but my problem with these is that they are super, super restrictive. They are really great. Um, they're super padded, um, super protective. Like they have this little sleeve too that goes on your leg and just the padding in them is really nice. Um, and here are the knee pads. It's the same thing. The padding on the inside, it's super nice. It's really hard. But my problem with these is I felt like I couldn't like straighten out my leg at all. They were very restrictive and... I didn't get that great of movement in these and they also stick out like a sore thumb so you can see them obviously you can't wear them underneath your clothing they're just there so the only thing i did like were the wrist guards i don't wear these often i really should but i don't uh, but these weren't bad wrist guards are definitely like a 10 out of 10 must for adult figure skaters because you don't want to break your wrists you know plain and simple so definitely look into some good wrist guards. These aren't bad, but again, they're very restrictive. So you pretty much, you put them on like this and you wrap them around. Try to get this on. They're kind of hard to put on by yourself too, which is another kind of eh. So that's how they go. And it's supposed to be restrictive because when you fall, um, there's a like a hard plastic here so it doesn't bend your wrist back. So, I mean, it's supposed to be res restrictive, um, and I would say that these are pretty great. But like I said, I just did not like the elbow or the knee pads. So here is the elbow pad. It just has this like hexagon shape, and they like contour to the shape of your elbows, which is pretty nice. And luckily, I haven't fallen on my elbows yet, but they just feel like they would really protect you from hitting the ground. Like the reason why I even thought of getting these was because if you watch basketball, these guys take some mean spills on the basketball court and that's plain old hardwood floor. I mean, I don't know if the fall is like the same of being on ice, but I figure it could kind of be similar because it's a hard surface and we're falling on hard surfaces too. So yeah, I got two of them. Like I said, unfortunately, they only sell one pack, you know, like one per pack. So I had to get the two and the knee pads, knee pads look like this. So it's the same kind of thing. They are the hexagon shape and they just kind of mold to your knee, but you can definitely get flexibility out of them. Um, it's not restrictive at all. I'm going to insert some pictures of what the knee pads look like on. Um, obviously, like when you put these on, you can still kind of see the hexagon shape. It's not like they're invisible, but I think that they're a lot better looking than these. 
you know? And then the elbow pads. I found that the elbow pads are like pretty hidden. Like if you're somebody who really cares about like not showing that you have uh, protective gear on, which isn't like the biggest thing to me, I really don't care. Um, but they're nice because they kind of like when I wear a hoodie, they're hidden in the hoodie. Well, talking about price range, these are pretty expensive. I think for the three of these, I spent like $90. Um, so they are not the cheapest option, you know, you could get, but I really think that they have just been absolutely amazing. Um, I've fallen a couple of times on my knees and these have really saved me from bad spills. The hexagons on the knee pads, I feel like are a little bit thicker than the elbow pads, but they just, it, it fits like a glove. I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all when you fall on your knees. I haven't hit my elbows yet, thank God. But um, yeah, I just find that they are just super flexible, protective, and do exactly what they need to do. I bought these at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, I bet you any other uh, like sporting goods store probably has them. I'd imagine like Models has them as well. Um, I'm going to double check and see if they are on Amazon. Maybe they'll be a little bit cheaper. I'll make sure to link everything in the description box below. So I'll link the, you know, Dick's, um, link, and then I'll try to find them, um, if they're cheaper anywhere else for you guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely the knee pads and the elbow pads are a hundred percent a must. And I stand behind these so much. So moving on to butt pads. Um, I personally right now don't need to be wearing butt pads because I'm not doing anything super like over the top. Like I'm not doing jumps yet. I'm just doing spins. Uh, I don't know when I'll start doing jumps. So I figured I should have them and kind of keep them in my skating bag just in case, you know, I need them. Um, so I got these off of, I believe I got these off of figureskatingstore.com, I think. I'll be sure to link them down below. Um, so this is what they look like. So they have the pads on, you know, for each, like for your thigh, not your thighs, but like, you know, your kind of your buttocks area. And then it also has the pad for your tailbone. Um, these ran me, I think they were like 30 or $40. These are called the Jerry's Protective Shorts. And I got these in a medium large. I'm about, um, I'm about 150 pounds. So that's why I got the medium large. And also to let you guys know, for reference, I got the protective knee pads in a large and I got the elbow pads in a large as well. I had tried on a medium thinking that the mediums would fit, but they were just super, super tight around my arm and my leg. I mean, even the large is pretty tight around my leg as well. Um, but I found that the large, it works, you know, I could wear it above, um, like above a T like I always wear a long sleeve shirt and then I'll put my elbow pad and then I'll put my hoodie over it. So these fit over that. And then my knee pads, I always wear stockings. So I put this, my stockings on, then I put the knee pads on, then I'll put like whatever pants I'm wearing. So I usually wear like yoga pants. So I'll put those on top and I find that it works if they don't move around and stuff. So I do like that. I find that if you put these on bare skin, they do move. So that's just something to keep in mind. Make sure that you have like clothing underneath them when you put them on and then you can put something over it. Just... Just a thought, I forgot to mention that. Um, so these, these I would wear over my workout pants and they fit pretty well. So I haven't used them yet, but they're just, they're not bad. You know, they're, you could feel that they are like really cushioned. I'll make sure to link these down below as well. I know that uh, protective gear can run pretty, pretty expensive for figure skaters. So finding like different alternatives is great. Like I said, these were probably like $40, $40 or $50. Um, and again, the knee pads and elbow pads ran me about $90. So, you know, they, it isn't cheap, 
but you have to also figure like your medical bills aren't cheap so you should probably get decent protective gear if you want to skate sorry if this video was kind of all over the place i'm really bad at like figuring out how to talk about everything but yeah i hope you guys like this video please leave those comments questions concerns in the comment section down below i will link everything in my description so that'll be there Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.